What is up, everybody? TGC Rick here, back again, finally with another retro video game pickups. It's been a while since my last one. Now, these ones I'm about to show you, it's not all one giant pickup. It's kind of an accumulation of my last, from my last pickups video until now. Uh, some stuff is missing. Um, some stuff's probably still in boxes. Some stuff's still probably out in my collection, honestly, because it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, and it's been crazy with the move you guys have known for this channel. But without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so to start things off, we got some good old NES titles here. We got Tiger Hill for the NES, good old classic. We got Data East, or Delta East, and Data East. It is Data East, D-A-T-A, -A, Data East. Karate Champ, fun game on the NES. I actually enjoyed that one. We got ourselves another copy of Friday the 13th. You can never have enough copies of these. I want to actually do a custom case on this one um, and make it look all super cool and stuff like that, so stay tuned to that. Uh, we got a Rocket Ranger for the NES. A lot of these games are just kind of commons, but I didn't have them in my collection. And, you know, might as well grab them all I can. Uh, next up is Spy vs. Spy, a classic game. Have not actually played this on the NES, though. I say classic because I played it on the Game Boy. I have never actually played the NES version of this, so kind of excited and looking forward to trying this out and, uh, you know, seeing what started it all. Something like that, anyway. Shadowgate is an awesome, awesome game, as you guys can see here from the footage. Uh, and that's something else I'm trying as well. Again, if you guys like that, let me know. If you guys like when I show what the game is and then show some gameplay footage of it, if you guys enjoy that or if you guys just want a quick to the point pick us video, let me know down in the comment section below. For now, we're just going to do it this way. Next up is a game I remember playing a lot as a child. Um, and for the life of me, I could not remember the name of it. And it took me forever and ever to remember it. And then I finally saw the game and it clicked. I was like, that is the game I used to play. I used to play the game all the time. Does it hold up? Don't remember. I haven't played it yet. Or again, I should say. But anyway, that is Smart Ball. And the fun fact is, this is my original copy of it that I got when I was a kid. I found it when I was moving. Um, it's got, uh, let's see. Yeah, this was picked up in... Vancouver, Washington. Good old Vancouver, Washington Video Warehouse. They are not around anymore. New release. Uh, but Smart Bowl, awesome game. Um, super fun. Definitely check it out for the SNES. All right, moving on. Next up, these next couple ones, uh, my girlfriend actually got me, which was awesome. She's getting into retro video games with me, which is amazing. Absolutely love it. She's a, she's a trooper for it. She, uh, she's the reason that uh, our living room is actually decked out in my stuff that was originally in just my room. Uh, during my last stuff. That's why you don't see all the cool stuff behind me because it's actually out in our living room, which is fantastic. Uh, without further ado, let's continue on. Uh, she found these and got them for me because she knows I love video games and knows I don't have them. Uh, and that first one is Demon Sword. I have not played this yet for the NES. It looks really sweet. Um, I don't know. It's got a guy with a sword on it with castles and dragons and all kinds of stuff. I'm assuming that's the Demon Sword. I don't know. It looks badass, though. Uh, moving along, we got Ice Hockey, good old classic Ice Hockey for the NES. Fun game. If you guys have not played it, what do you guys do with your life, really? It's it's great. Even if you don't like hockey, it's a fun game. Next up is Star Trek, the 25th anniversary, which blows my mind, the fact that this is a 25th anniversary game for the NES. It says copyright 1985 on the back. I'm just saying, that that's crazy. 25th anniversary Star Trek video game for the NES uh, with a late great Spock on there and good old William Shatner. All right, moving on. Next up uh, is Top Gun, the second mission. That's right. Not only did they make one Top Gun video game, they made a second one. Uh, I have not actually played this, um, so I have no room to talk about it at all. I know the first one, um, I played it. Pretty difficult. I could never land the plane. I don't know. It's just too much danger zone and highways and random stuff. I don't know. Uh, but the second one, didn't have this, so it's cool to have this in my collection. Definitely will check this one out. Uh, and then next up, really stoked to actually add this game because I've been looking for it forever and she didn't know that. I have the uh, original version of this game, but I did not have this variant of it. And that is Punch-Out. I have Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but I did not have the Punch-Out that came up with after the fact, after Mike Tyson... And all that crap went down with Nintendo and him being crazy and all that fun stuff. Go look it up, kids. It's history lessons. It's good. Uh, but no, I did not have this and I was looking for it. And so it was super cool to get this. Super excited to get this. I love cartridge variants like this. As you guys know, I have two Metroids. I have the yellow um, label, which I believe was a Greatest Hits label. And then I have the original label as well. I love little things like that because you don't see them often back in, in NES days. Uh, so it's cool to have that and add that to my collection. 
Uh, along with that, this I believe is going to be the last NES game we show on this video, and that is good old Marble Madness. I think I have like two or three of these now, but you never have enough Marble Madness, right? I don't know. Uh, moving along, next up, these are actually really cool, and I've been looking forward to these, um, and I know people are doing reviews on them and stuff like that, uh, and this one's actually pretty, pretty legit, uh, but that's Rampage, the little mini arcade game. thing is awesome. It plays just like the arcade version, just like the arcade port. Um, not the NES port, so if you guys looking to play the game on NES like I did when I first uh, played Rampage, this is not it. If you want the arcade port, this, this is it. Sadly, no Dwayne The Rock Johnson in it. Sadly, no flying gray gorillas. Just throwing that out there. If you're looking for gray gorillas, go elsewhere, because this has the original gorilla in it from Rampage. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that, I was just randomly talking. And along with that one is one of my all-time favorite games, and you guys know this. No, not Mega Man. Burger time. This one's actually done a little different. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, it's made by a different company as well. Uh, and as you can tell, it actually resembles the actual Burger Time arcade cabinet, which I think is freaking fantastic. I honestly do really, really enjoy that. Um, it's cool. You can actually plug it into your TV as well. Um, there's an adapter for it. Uh, and for some reason, if you really want to get technical, you can take off the little joystick on top. I don't know. Uh, but it plays just like the original Burger Time, which is awesome. Um, super fun. It's the in the My Arcade series. Um, super excited to have that in my collection just because I love Burger Time and little stupid things like this. And it's awesome. It just sets here. It's great. It's, fan it's collecting dust, but it's fantastic. And last but not least, going on to my all-time favorite game. No, not Burger Time, you sly, sly people, you. But that is Mega Man 2. Now, I got this, and I've seen reviews on it. I know that it's not that good of a, of a product, but it's Mega Man 2. It's a plug-and-play. I don't know how well Mega Man plays, honestly, with the, with the joystick. I feel like that'd be very, very difficult. But here it is. It's cool. It's a cool piece to add to the collection. I got it for super, super cheap. Um, absolutely love it. It's Mega Man 2. You can't go wrong, right? Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like the style of video where I actually show uh, a little bit of the video game up in the corner, maybe it'll be in this corner. I don't know. Maybe it'll be that corner, that corner. Probably not this corner. You don't want to block out the sweet Portland retro gaming shirt. I mean, come on now. Uh, you may ask, why are you wearing a tank top? Well, because I got sunburned like a mofo because I'm white and I didn't use sunscreen properly. Yay me. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. I'll be back again with hopefully more retro video game pickups. And I definitely have to do a Stuff and Things video very, very soon because I got a lot more stuff and a lot more things since my last one. Speaking of Stuff and Things, check this cool thing out. I'll grab this real quick. My girlfriend got me this as well. Uh, it's called Pixel Pals. I'm sure you guys have seen them, but it's so cool. Look at that thing. So let's bring it back a little bit. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. We're going to break things. We are breaking the light off. Put it back here. What about that? Does that work? Doesn't work, does it? It's cool. It's fine. It's Mario. You can't go wrong with Mario. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys next time.